Hello friends, welcome back to ProHut IT Services. Good to see you back. In this video, we'll learn about DHCP. In this video, we are only going to cover basics of DHCP server. If you're already well versed with DHCP server, then you are overqualified for this video. In addition to that, we are assuming that you already have basic understanding of IP addressing. So with that, let's start with the session. Scope of this video is to know about DHCP. What is DHCP server? What are the benefits of DHCP server? How DHCP server works? Last but not the least, we'll run you through all the steps of installing and configuring DHCP server on Windows Server 2012 R2. In case of any queries, feel free to type in your comments or you can drop an email to us at query at the rate prohut.net. We'll be more than happy to answer all those queries. What is DHCP server? And why do we need DHCP server? As you know, that IP address is required for computers to communicate with each other. There are two ways of assigning IP addresses to computer. First, we can assign static IP address to computers. That is, someone needs to walk to the computer and then manually type in the IP address. We call it static IP address. Second, we can assign dynamic IP address to computer via server. That means IP address can be assigned dynamically through a server. Server which is used to assign an IP address is known as DHCP server. DHCP is known as Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. It is a network protocol that enables a server to automatically assign an IP address to a computer. Let's understand why do we need DHCP server. To understand it better, let's take two scenarios. Scenario 1 Assuming small organization in which we have about 50 odd computers. Scenario 2 Large organization in which we have about 5000 computers. Now you need to pause the video for two minutes and think about how will you assign IP address to all the 5000 computers if you are working in large organization. How will you manage any changes in the IP addressing that is if you want to change IP address of all these 5000 computers then how are you going to manage it. How would you keep records of IP addresses that are already been assigned or you have already used some IP addresses? How would you manage issues related to IP conflict? How much time do you think you need to assign IP addresses to all the 5000 computers? And how many people or how many system admins do you think you need to configure IP address on all these 5000 computers. Now pause your video for two minutes and think about the points that I raised. Okay, I hope that you noted all, all the answers. Now let me answer you. There is one answer to all the questions that is DHCP server. With the help of DHCP server, you can configure all the 5000 computers in less than 10 to 15 minutes and it can be done by only one person you don't need 10 15 or 20 people to configure IP address on 5000 computers yes you heard it right only one person can assign IP address on all the 5000 computers in less than 15 minutes I'm sure you must be having multiple questions that how it can be done but please don't worry 
we're gonna teach you how to install and configure DHCP server in next few slides. Now let's move on and talk about benefits of DHCP server. DHCP server helps in centralized management. You don't need 10, 20 or 50 people to configure IP address on all the computers. It can be done centrally from your DHCP server. Having said that, management is easy as you don't have to travel from one computer to another computer. By sitting on one server, you can configure all the computers in your environment. IP address is assigned automatically when your computer starts. And the next slide will talk how client computer gets an IP address from DHCP server. It minimizes configuration errors that were caused by manual IP address configuration. Example, if you are assigning manual IP address, then you need to remember all the IP addresses that you have used, as you cannot assign the same IP address to any other computer. If you do the same, it will result in IP conflict error message. In case of DHCP server, you don't need to remember or worry about IP, IP conflict scenarios. How DHCP works? DHCP works on DORA process. Please remember this word, DORA, D-O-R-A, D means discovery, O means offer, R means request, and A means acknowledgement. Let's understand DORA process and next slide. To understand DORA process, let's think of a scenario in your environment where you have a DHCP server and a client. When your client starts, it broadcasts a request for IP address. That is, it tries to discover DHCP server in your environment. When discovery is completed, DHCP server receives a request for an IP address from client. Then DHCP server offers one of the available IPs to client. Once client receives an offer from DHCP server, then it sends a request to assign that IP address to client and update record in DHCP server. On the basis of request received from client, DHCP server assigns an IP address to the client and send an acknowledgement to the client that IP address is assigned to client. Hope with this DORA process is clear to you. But if in case you have still have any questions or any queries, then I request you to please write down those in the comment section or you can drop an email to us on query at the rate prohut.net. In the next video, we'll learn how to install and configure DHCP server. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, then please don't forget to like, subscribe and share it. Thanks for watching. Bye.